What we typically would treat on the robotic surgical platform for gynecologic oncology or women's cancers would include endometrial cancer, by far the most common surgery that we do. So we would typically do a hysterectomy plus what's known as a staging procedure, which is to remove lymph nodes uh, from the back of the pelvis. Uh, we also use it for cervical cancer. We do a, a unique technique called a radical hysterectomy, which is a, it's a specialized hysterectomy specific to cervical cancer. And then we'll use it in select cases of ovarian cancer and also women that have ovarian cysts and pelvic masses. The most fundamental difference is between robotic surgery and, let's say, open surgery. It's, pretty, it's, it's really quite evident. It's the difference between having, let's say, a 20 centimeter incision, vertical incision, versus having five incisions that are about a centimeter or less. So it's a pretty substantial difference. Why is that important? Well, obviously, when you have a big incision that affects your recovery, you know, you're less likely to get out of bed spontaneously, start doing normal activities as a daily living. Two, there's a lot less pain, a lot less blood loss, and obviously, you know, we, and this is the reality that we live in, is that it's obviously more cosmetically appealing. And there have been some, a couple really important studies particularly in the last three or four years that have demonstrated that the oncologic outcomes are basically equivalent between minimally invasive surgery and open surgery. The difference is the morbidity and the return to normal quality of life. That's a huge difference between these two populations. Every movement that we manipulate in the console is then translated and generated uh, at the bedside. So we have full control over the machine and nothing about it's automated, but what makes it unique and quote unquote robotic is that we're actually able to do maneuvers that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise in an open surgery. It's the issue of education, experience, the breadth of experience and surgical expertise I think separates UAB from many places, not just in the southeast and the state of Alabama, but in, in the entire U.S. You know, we have surgeons from all over the world that come through the doors, they shadow surgeons in various disciplines to learn basically how they approach the robotic cases. There are not many places that can make that claim. One thing that's unique about G1 Oncology compared to the other surgical oncology subspecialties is not only we operate on our patients, but we actually give our own chemotherapy afterwards. So we develop, I think, a pretty unique bond with our patients their, their entire journey. And for me, that's probably the most rewarding aspect of the subspecialty is that we get to take care of the patient from start to finish.